Hello and welcome back, dear viewers, to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the weekly delve into the murky, mysterious and sometimes magical world of Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist, Mark Steele. And today's episode is going to leave you utterly befuddled because our hero, Mark Steele, has uncovered what is, appears to be an entirely new state of consciousness, somewhere between demonic possession and remote control by malign forces. Can you hear it in my tone of voice? I am genuinely afraid of what the great man himself has revealed. And by the end of this show, I think you will be too, because he presents a very convincing case that all is not what it seems. And it begins with just one word. Homo Borg Genesis. So I'm going to talk about what's called Homo Borg Genesis. I'm not talking about the normal demonically possessed actors. I'm talking about people who have been infected right, with this narrative. And the reason well, I'm sure Mark still has your attention now. He's revealed that what he is about to describe is an entirely new form of demonic possession. It's not one that the Catholic Church would traditionally concern themselves with, the kind that is actually caused by demons. No, this one is even more dangerous because it's caused by the 5G telecommunications network. Yeah, this is bad. I mean, I've known about the technology for a while. It's all part of the 5G wireless body area network to control, to subdue, to track trace to exterminate. Last Saturday night, I had two coppers come here. I've got a number of super stalkers, in particular Brigade 77 operative. It's got several names, etc. Fake names, just making shit up about people 24-7 calling up themselves. Super stalkers? That really sounds awful. Well, if you have any idea who this super stalker with multiple names that Mark Steele is referring to, do please get in touch with info at saversnow.org.uk. And I'm sure Mark would be desperate for information about this horrible person who has been saying mean things about him on the internet. Now, the police came uh, to my home basically to give me a warning. They said it was like friendly advice. And I'm sure Mark was entirely receptive to whatever it was that these two police officers had to say to him. So let's listen on and learn a bit more about what took place during this encounter between Mark Steele and the two police officers from the uh, Northumbrian police force. When I was talking to them, was one of them was quite compass mentis. He was writing everything down about the fake profile names, etc. And I said, these people have stalked, stalked me for years. Three, four years, spreading all sorts of disinformation, etc. I was just spreading it. I then mentioned the reason because I wanted to know why these people would go to all the trouble of building these uh, these fake profiles, building lots of video footage and evidence of me speaking in the past where they've clipped and chopped videos to try and make me look like some sort of, uh, uh, you know, Fool. So we've established that police officers have gone to Mark Steele's house to give him some friendly advice. And Mark Steele wants to talk about a cabal of evil people whose mission, apparently, is to make him appear like a fool. Well, nobody could mistake Mark Steele for a fool. He's a weapons expert. He's a, a skilled orator. He's a whistleblower. And, and he's an expert at so many things. Mark is the furthest you could possibly get from being a fool. But remember, this is a story about what happened when Mark Steele encountered two police officers in his own home. This story is about to take a turn for the weird. And as I've warned you earlier, those of a sensitive disposition, this is your last chance to switch off because what you're about to hear is going to get totally effed up. I was giving them the details. One of them was quite attentive and the other one was like a drone. What on earth could be going wrong? Mark's brilliant mind, attentive to every single detail, noticed that one police officer appeared not to be fully engaged with his conversation. During the conversation with these two uh, officers, so when I was mentioning things like chemtrails, LED, 5G, wireless body, you could see he was just totally wasn't going in. It became pretty obvious that one of them was basically switched off. Are you getting the inkling of 
What might be going wrong here? Let me spell it out for you. We have one police officer engaged with Mark Steele's witty banter and dialogue, taking notes at every single thing that Mark Steele said about the, the vicious gang of super stalkers who are attempting to make him look like a fool. The other police officer apparently checked out, disinterested, not even giving the slightest fig or fiddle as to what is going on. Perhaps, I, I just imagine this police officer may have lain back on Mark Steele's beautifully upholstered sofa and, and lifted his heavy police boot onto the coffee table. And it is even now in mid-snore. That, that's how I picture it. I'm sure it wasn't like that. But uh, that's the, the vivid picture that Mark Steele, the expert storyteller, whistleblower and dreamweaver, has painted for us right now. Going in. Wasn't computing, was it the 1P36 deletion syndrome that was in the shot? Or is it more to do with this homo genesis? What, what a scientific conundrum. It's either this 1P36 deletion syndrome that, that Mark Steele seems to think can be switched on and off in a police officer's mind, or it's this equally unexplained phenomenon that he has chosen to label Homo Borg Genesis, which I can only assume is a reference to the Star Trek villains, the Borg, but also a bit gay. I, I, I don't, I, you know what, I don't know. But that's, that's the intriguing thing about it, because he's posted two possibilities, both of which seem completely impossible, yet one of which must certainly be true. They're not, they're not basically human. Right. And what happens, it, they, they cannot compute information. And especially if it resonates at certain sort of uh, evidences, let's see what I mentioned, chemtrail and LED lights, 5G wireless body, you know, you could see it just wasn't going in. Frightening, isn't it? That police officer, if he had been afflicted by homo borg genesis, was almost certainly transformed into a homosexual borg which, as Mark Steele has carefully established, is one incapable of comprehending the essential details of chemtrails, 5G lampposts, and, and all the other things that Mark Steele had wanted to have a, a completely heterosexual, non-Borg conversation about. But um, presumably, one of the police officers was still in a non-homo-Borg genocized state. That is to say, unless he too was afflicted by the one P36 deletion syndrome that, that Mark has also conjectured. I, I'm, I'm confused. What does it all mean, Mark? I'm confused and frightened. That was then confirmed that the guy who was just totally, his mind was gone. He was the sort of automaton, this homo borg genesis actor. Not a constable, couldn't be. Because obviously, if your DNA has changed, then you're not even a human. See, I told you this would get very frightening very soon. And those of you who are of a sensitive disposition, if you completely ignored my previous two implorations for you to just get the hell out of here, right? If you're, if you're now literally shitting your pants with fear at this point, right? Well, you only have yourself to blame because I warned you, right? The title of this show was Homo Borg Genesis. That's not, that's not the sort of thing that, that is going to be of interest to, to people who are more normally concerned with milder things. If your interest is as with the aforementioned ponies and butterflies, well, you should have left a long time ago. Now, right, now you're sat in this with us, right, sensitive people, homo borg genesis, right, get, get used to it because it's a reality, it's a fact, right? There's a 5G network out there and it's turning police officers into gay borgs, yeah? You heard it, Mark said it, and I'm telling you that it's the truth, right? And, and if that is sending you in, into a, a paroxysm of fear and despair, well, don't say I didn't warn you, because I did warn you. Right, let's see what else is happening. And I'm pretty sure that police forces around the world employ at least men and women. Well, maybe not, but because that, that was another issue that they had about me talking about transhumanism. That was another complaint that was made. Wow, can you believe the dramatic irony of this? Mark Steele, the truth teller and whistleblower, famous for revealing the truth about the dangers of the 5G wireless body area network 
and how that's going to lead to a sort of transhumanist hell. Well, the police officers who come to deliver some friendly advice, whatever the hell that was supposed to mean, are themselves transhuman cyborgs, victims of homo borg genesis. Well, you couldn't write horror like this. In fact, I'm going to maybe write horror like this. Perhaps this could be the subject of my new horror film, and uh, I could become a famous film director based off the theories of Mark Steele, to whom I will not give any money. So these characters, when you, when you give them this information, I was talking to a, um, a planning officer in Newcastle Council, and it was quite interesting how we just switched off. It's like as if a light goes off. It's as, as, as those words are spoken. It's like the 5G wireless body area networks monitoring. Obviously, you can't, it's audio able, so you can listen to what's being said, this AI system, and then just switches off. It's an artificial intelligence system that is monitoring us via our wireless body area network implants, waiting for somebody to mention chemtrails or, or 5G lampposts. And the minute that it detects those words have been spoken, it sends a signal that causes the recipient of that information to switch into some kind of stupor or fugue state, rendering them completely unable to comprehend the wise and sensible words that Mark Steele has said. And Mark Steele seems to be the only person who isn't afflicted by this weird disease that we shall, for want of a better word, label Homo Borg Genesis. It just switches off using this 1P36 deletion syndrome where they can't critically think on that information that's being given. So there's certain trigger words, certain narratives that they just cannot function. So the real reason that complete strangers tend to glaze over and ignore what Mark is saying when he wants to accost them and uh, tell them about chemtrails or uh, how 5G networks are going to interface with wireless body area networks and remote control their bodies, well, it has nothing to do with Mark boring them or, or, or getting in the way of them doing their job. And it has everything to do with a strange and nefarious artificial intelligence that is looking out for these hot words. Uh, and any time somebody mentions, say, chemtrails, it forces the recipient of that information into a sort of stupor or fugue state that prevents them from taking on that information, that true set of facts that would just be too damn dangerous if, if the general population were to know even one-tenth of what Mark Steele apparently knows. These people are not human. They're a technology player. And that technology player is being controlled very much like zombies, right, which will exhibit more illness, sickness, ill health and death over the coming years. To... What we need to take away from this is that Homo Borg Genesis is an absolutely real phenomenon. This isn't just Mark Steele engaged in a narcissistic rant because he's noticed that authority figures such as police officers and uh, planning officials in the council don't listen to him when he starts ranting about uh, chemtrails and lampposts and, and it's his usual sort of Mark Steele nonsense. No, no, no. Mark Steele cares. Ultimately, all of this, everything he's telling us, is because he cares that those people who have been Homo Borg genocized will have a shorter lifespan than, I guess, the pure bloods, of which he considers himself to be one. Councillors, I mean, one councillor, I listen to him, he doesn't want to have a conversation about climate change. He doesn't don't talk about geoengineering. He doesn't want to talk about stratospheric aerosol injection. They don't want to talk about anything. And that tells me they have already been hacked. Wait, was Mark Steele talking about Jonathan Wallace again all this time? Mark Steele claims that Jonathan Wallace was turned into a homo borg. Is, is this basically, is this whole rant just because one of the councillors in Gateshead Council didn't listen to Mark Steele and didn't want to, to hear Mark Steele ranting about what, is that, was that the whole point of this? This 5G wireless body area network has already hacked them to make them incapable of critical thought. I think you'll agree, Mark Steele has presented a sobering case for a very dangerous 
and unfortunately all too real phenomena. We've learnt about Homo Borgenesis, which is a, a process akin to demonic possession, but it's mediated via the 5G telecommunications network. What does it do? Well, it turns humans into non-humans. They may look human, but their genetic material has been replaced by a process that Mark Steele knows about but did not see fit to describe to us. But nevertheless, you can be assured that despite their human looks, they are not human. And why are they not human? Well, it's because they are being controlled by an artificial intelligence. And this artificial intelligence listens out for mentions of hot-button topics such as chemtrails. And if you start talking to someone who's been homoborgenicized about such topics, well, their eyes glaze over and they appear not to be interested. They appear to be non-receptive to whatever important messages you have to say. And that is all the evidence you need of a conspiracy. Because if people aren't listening to Mark Steele, then something is wrong. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this show. I, I know it's been very difficult because we've learned about some truly frightening phenomena. I don't know what to say other than I hope you have an untroubled night and maybe six more untroubled nights until the next episode of Mind of Steel because at this rate, things are getting too damn scary. I hope I don't die or become homoborg genocized until I see you in one week's time.